Hey guys, Dan here from Your Guitar Academy and welcome to what is a very different style of course to what we normally do. And normally I'd be sitting in the red chair or one of our wonderful tutors teaching you through some wonderful guitar things. Today and over the following 20 lessons in this course, we're going to be showing you how to set up a home studio, a home practice space, okay? And I want to just really clarify what that means because it can mean something very different to every single person. But from the point of view, from our point of view, what we're trying to help you guys achieve is creating a space within your, wherever you are, whether it's in a flat or a parent's house or your own bedroom or, or a massive house where you've got a facility to actually create, you know, a big practice room or whatever it is. We're going to show you kind of all those different levels and just the basics of how you would get there based on what your specific goals are. So we're going to think of it from two different angles. One, setting up a practice space, so somewhere that you really want to be, somewhere that when you come home after a busy day's work and you just want to just go somewhere to motivate you to play, to practice, to get better at the guitar, a space like that. And secondly, a space which actually functions as somewhat of a recording setup as well, so that you can start recording your own songs or potentially you just want to kind of advance practice setup so you can listen back to yourself, play along with drum beats, that kind of thing. So there are going to be two key parts of this course. The first part, which is going to be in unit one and unit three, is us in this wonderful room where I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know step by step in terms of what gear to have, the hardware, the software, if you're setting up a recording studio space. Um, the second part is we're actually going to be going to five different tutors' houses. Um, so these are all professional tutors with Your Guitar Academy, and we're going to be checking out their space so we can get some massive inspiration, some motivation to see how they do it and therefore how you might do it yourself. Now, in this first unit, we're talking about hardware. I'm going to be walking you through the kind of hardware you might want to get for your home space setup, okay? And we're starting this lesson with the guitars. Okay guys, so just before we get started with this particular lesson, don't forget you can head on over to the website to get access to our full write-up. And if you do want to support us as well as get access to our community, direct access to myself and all the other mentors, as well as progress tracking, a customized pathway, and so much more, then you can sign up to our YJ Club and all the links are below. All right then guys, so we're gonna talk guitars. now. Obviously, we're in a room which has taken us a while to construct. We've got a big space and therefore we've got a lot of guitars. This is, this is a magical place. You know, whenever we bring students here or tutors, this is very exciting. And we've got lots of guitars here. Now, I want to scale this down, but I want to explain to you why we have this set up and something, a, a little bit of theory almost, you might think of it like, for when you're setting up your studio space. Now, the key thing um, which we will see when we go to the other tutors' places is that the guitars are out. This is the most important thing for any student or even tutor that's looking to improve their skills, the guitars need to be out the whole time. Because if you think about it, it's just like I can play this guitar now and I'm playing and I'm sitting down and I'm playing. It's so quick. Um, it's also, you know, rather than let's say you have that in a case in a, in a room and you've got to go and you know, you're tired after work and it's like, oh God, I've got to get the case out, you know, and then I've got to find the case, get it out and then plug it in. It's just, it's just all extra stuff that might stop you from picking up that guitar and playing it. It's much like the advice you get if you're trying to go and get a good gym routine in the morning, put your trainers at the end of the bed, put your clothes at the end of the bed ready in the morning. So there's not like an obstacle between you and oh, I've got to find my clothes to kind of go. Because, you know, the brain's going to be going, oh, I don't really want to do this, I just want to chill. Um, so this is a good idea. So however you do that, so you can see what we've done is we've put them on the wall. So we hang up these wonderful hooks, okay? And I'm going to show you one of these. I've got one here. Uh, the, I mean, this, this is a Hercules one. I mean, it doesn't really matter what one it is. You can find these absolutely anywhere. But they're just, they're guitar stands. You know, you can find reviews for all of these different ones. Um, I just always use these Hercules ones. Um, and you just, you need to obviously fix them into the wall um, and then they will hold your guitars up. So if you want to kind of display them like this on your home wall or something like that, this is what you would need. Um, with a warning, of course, as you can see from our holes here, 
Um, make sure you put them on properly. Uh, this is something you really need to make sure. Watch all the videos you need. Make sure you've got the proper tools and do it properly. Otherwise, your guitar is going to fall off the wall. But if you do it properly, they'll be absolutely secure. Um, so that's the first thing, you know, get the guitars on the walls. If you don't have the option to do that, put them on a stand, okay? Just, just, just buy a guitar stand and just have your, it might just be one guitar that you have, that's fine. Put that on a stand and, you, and keep it there as long as you can just pick it up and use it, okay? So that's the first thing I'll say. The most important thing is that your guitar needs to be out and available and easy to see. Secondly, and this is more kind of as we get into the, the kind of idea of, I might like to start doing a bit of recording. So if you're starting to think in terms of a home studio setup, I would say there's, there's three or four different instruments, guitar-based instruments that you would need, okay? And that's an electric guitar, maybe one or two with different styles of pickups. We'll talk about that in a second. You need your bass guitar, okay, if you're gonna be recording a little bit of bass, um, and an acoustic guitar as well. So you've got the kind of the, the basses covered. So let me just show you through these ones. So for example, with an electric guitar, I'm gonna pick up my Strat. Um, I'd say there's, let's just call it really beginner's basic stuff here, guys. There's two basic forms, you know, you've got your single coil guitars like this, which have a very different sound. To say, for example, if you had a humbucker style set of a guitar here, okay? You know, these are, I'm not gonna get into any of the technical stuff here with you guys today. I'm just giving you the basics, all right? So they're just gonna be very, very different sounds. This is gonna be a little bit thinner, okay? And this is gonna be a little bit more heavy, let's say. So a bit more rock, a little bit more country, maybe more bluesy, whatever you wanna think of it, uh, however you want to think about it. They're very two different sounds. So it's worth, if you can invest in two different guitars, make sure one's, these kind of give you the balance that you might need when you're recording. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit down and just kind of play some of these just quickly, just for a bit of fun, just so you might be able to hear a little bit of the different sounds, okay? So let's plug in this Strat, this beautiful Strat. So again, you know, in a matter of seconds, I've sat down, I've plugged in, you can see I've got all this gear. We're gonna talk about all of this stuff in upcoming lessons, okay? But I've sat down, I've plugged in, and I have a sound. Okay, it's as simple as that, guys. Um, you can see why that's so important because, you know, it, that has taken me three seconds to do that. I chose my guitar, I plugged in, and I'm off. This is probably the most important thing I'm gonna be stressing for you guys as you work through this course. Um, otherwise, you know, you've got the faff of, okay, what, I need to amp, I need to choose my sound, la, la, la. So, the single coil strat, you know, you've got all these different options. You know, you've got your pickup at the neck and then you've got the pickup at the bridge and everything in between. It's just, I typically pick this one up if I want to do kind of funky stuff. Um, that kind of thing, it kind of offers really nicely to funk, to some kind of blues. If I was doing like my John Mayer stuff, um, you know, the kind of... Kind of stuff I, I typically pick up my Strat. Um, it's great for country as well, although you might want a Telecaster for real kind of country tones. Um, but the fundamental thing is that we've got a guitar that has these single coil pickup options, okay? And then after that, it's all down to preference, whatever you like, what feels best in your hand, okay? This is not the course to work, to talk through all the different guitars and the ins and outs of them. It's just the basic overview, okay? So, so yeah, that's, that's the kind of the Strat, and, and if I kind of added a little bit of gain to that, so I've got a nice like tube screamer thing here, um, you might get more of your like... <laughs> I don't know, like a kind of Stevie Ray Vaughan style stuff. I always think of that, you know, that kind of... That kind of thing I associate with the kind of tube screamer and the single coil kind of vibe, okay? But let's just quickly kind of compare that. So if I just put my tuner on here, um, I'll just pick up, again, it's very easy. I just go over, put one guitar down, pick another one up, um, and I've got my humbucker style guitar. And instantly, exactly the same sound, we'll hear. It will hear slightly out of tune, but we will hear that it's very, very different. It's exactly the same setup that I just had, but suddenly it's much higher output. That's what these give you. 
These give you a higher output. It's going to sound more driven, um, richer maybe, slightly darker tone, these kind of things. Um, so this is where you might like that kind of... <laughs> so it's got that richer kind of sound. Equally, when it comes to clean, this gives you more maybe a jazzy vibe, a richer blues kind of vibe. Or whatever you, you know, it doesn't matter what you play. I'm trying to get across the idea that that this is maybe richer, it's darker in tone, it's definitely fuller, and therefore you can see why it's so beneficial, especially if you're trying to set up um, some kind of home studio whereby you might want to record different genres, get different ideas down um, within your songwriting even, you might choose to go to a different guitar, so one that's got single coils for certain sounds and one that's got humbuckers for certain sounds, okay? So that's the gist of it. So let me just put these back. Um, like I said, in terms of what guitar you get, it doesn't really matter. Like whatever you prefer, this is really then when it comes down to your choice. All right, cool. So electric guitars aside, I do feel like if, we, if your aim, and remember this is all down to your aim, um, is to set up some kind of home studio where you're looking to start recording tracks of your own, then I would have a bass. And this is the cheapest bass you can get, um, but you'd be surprised. I mean, um, most of the YGA tracks that we record use a bass like this. If we don't get a professional bass player to record it, then we probably use this bass. So, you know, you don't need much. And as a guitar player, it's quite nice to pick up a bass every now and again. You know, it's, it's a different feel. It's just four strings rather than six. They're obviously a much lower octave. Um, and it's just a nice thing to kind of balance out your recordings when you're, when you're trying to record anything, really. So I would have a bass lying around. We've got one in this whole studio, uh, which is probably a bit outrageous, and the bass player's going to hate me. But this is, you know, get a, a half-decent bass, and then that's going to give you that extra layer when you come to do your recordings. If you're just setting up a practice studio, you know, rather than a home studio setup, but more like a, a just a beautiful practice space, then that's not really essential. You know, you just put your guitars in, the ones you're gonna pick up and play. Um, and I'll just do a really quick, let's have a nice glistening look at all these wonderful guitars. So, you know, we've got guitars with the semi hollow, we've got strats, we've got various ranges. We actually obviously have two Pacificas, which is funny. Um, lots of different guitars, uh, but that would bring me on to the acoustic stuff. So I think it's also very important as any guitar player to have an acoustic as well. Um, so I'm predominantly an electric player, and I think most of the guys here in the office are, um, but you know, having the acoustic lying around, I mean, it's just, again, I think if I'm gonna have a home studio set up, I want to have the option of an acoustic guitar for certain songs, for certain styles that I'm recording. Um, ideally, um, you have one that also has some kind of way to plug in. So something like this, where we've got some kind of pickup in it. You can see the battery's gone, but you have an actual pickup in the guitar, and that allows you to plug in. I think you plug in, here we go, at the bottom of the guitar. So again, it's easier to record. You don't have to use a microphone, although it's, you can do if you want to. Um, and yeah, I would just, again, I would just have it around. I'd have the option of it. So just to summarize this, guys, you know, in terms of the hardware, when it comes to guitars, think about your aim. Think about your aim first. So is your aim to have a home studio setup? Do I want somewhere where I'm gonna come and record and get all my ideas down into my system? Or am I gonna record tracks for backing tracks or whatever it is? First of all, choose your goal. And if that is your goal, then I would recommend having at least two guitars, one with humbuckers, one with single coils. I'd have a bass and I'd have an acoustic guitar of some kind. Um, if your goal is to sit and have a beautiful space that you just want to come in and practice in, and that's the, the end of it, which is perfect, um, then you don't need to worry about specific guitars. Obviously, just have your guitars, build your guitar collection. Just make sure that they're on show. That's the most crucial thing. You would be amazed the difference just by literally having your guitar there 
um, away from the reach of the kids is probably also a very good idea. Uh, I've had that problem a few times, uh, but somewhere where it's safe, but on reach and you can easily grab it. So that's it for the guitars, guys, and I'll see you next time. We'll talk about amps. Okay, guys, that's it for this lesson. If you're looking for the next lesson, please do click here. If you're looking to start the whole series, then we've got the full playlist available right here. You can go from start to finish.